And Troop County News Leader 9 is digging deeper into a cold case murder dating back 16 years. News Leader 9's Gabriella Johnson has more on what led deputies to take another look at this case and what we know at this time. 16 years ago, a dismembered body stuffed into five different trash bags and set on fire was found on Whitfield and Stitcher Road. This is reaction from Hugh Wade in December of 07. Never had anything like it happen in Troop County and uh, hope to catch the person that did it. All that could be determined in that year was an obvious homicide and that the victim was an unidentified adult black female. Our basic goal now is to try to find out where the body came from, who the body is, who the person is. We can make sure we get to the right uh, place that the murder occurred at. Of those things, former Sheriff Donnie Turner listed then, only one is known now, and that's the victim's name. You know, the quote, John Doe's or Jane Doe's or whatever you want to use, anytime you can put a name with it, that certainly gives them some relief. Earlier this year, Troop County investigators sent in DNA to innovative forensic investigations and gene-by-gene -gene laboratories. On December 13th, a positive DNA match confirmed Nicole Alston as the woman killed. The main thing is hoping that somebody that knew her back in 2006, 2007, can come forward and kind of give us information on why she made the move to the Atlanta area. Was she with somebody when she made that move? Who is that person? Officials believe all along that the murder didn't take place in Troop County, saying the body had to have been dumped there. It'd be nice if we knew exactly um, where the murder took place and who was responsible, but, um, you know, maybe time will tell. In Troop County, Gabriella Johnson for WTVM News Leader 9.